Amber's parents say there were red flags with Cooley, but didn't think it would go this far. He was verbally abusing her and um, what I would call spiraling, starting to spiral out of control since um, a little shortly before the birth of the baby. He threatened me. He tried to uh, engage in a physical altercation with me. He just cared for others deeply. She just had a history of connecting with, with anyone. Welcome to Explore Crimes. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for more stories. Amber Morgan was a 26-year-old kindergarten teacher at Victory College Prep in Indianapolis, known for her warm smile, nurturing spirit, and deep care for others. Amber had recently become a mother to a beautiful baby girl named Audrey. The birth of her daughter marked the beginning of what Amber described as the most fulfilling chapter of her life. Her journey into motherhood was one filled with love, dedication, and joy. Amber's mother, Sharla Morgan, recalls with fondness how her daughter embraced motherhood with an unparalleled passion. The last five weeks as a new mom, she called me almost every day and said, this is the greatest job I have on earth, Sharla shared. Amber's deep love for her daughter was evident in every conversation, every shared moment, and every proud smile. Amber Morgan and Robert Cooley had been together for about four or five years. What began as a seemingly loving relationship eventually deteriorated, marked by increasing tension and abuse, especially after the birth of their daughter, Audrey, just five weeks before Amber's tragic death. Amber's parents, Corey Morgan and Starla Hart, noted several red flags in Cooley's behavior over the years. Initially, the signs of trouble were subtle, but they became more pronounced after Audrey was born. Cooley's verbal abuse escalated, and he began to exhibit increasingly controlling and aggressive behavior. Amber's decision to seek a divorce from her husband likely triggered the tragic events that led to her untimely death. After the birth of their daughter, Audrey, Robert's behavior had become increasingly abusive and erratic. Amber, recognizing the red flags and fearing for her safety and that of her newborn, confided in her mother the night before her murder, requesting dissolution of marriage papers. This intention to leave the toxic relationship, combined with Robert's escalating aggression and fear of losing control and financial support, likely fueled his violent outburst. In a tragic confrontation, Robert confronted Amber, unable to accept the impending separation, which ultimately led to his horrifying and fatal actions. Amber's resolve to protect herself and her daughter, although it came too late to save her, underscores the critical importance of addressing and escaping abusive situations before they escalate to such irreversible consequences. On that fateful Saturday morning, Indianapolis Metropolitan Police Department responded to a distressed call from the couple's townhome in the 3000 block of Armory Drive. Robert met them outside with a chilling confession. He told the police, I took my wife's life and I did something bad. I need to go to jail. Blood was found on Robert's hands and clothing. Inside, they found Amber's body, beaten beyond recognition, shot in the head, and with her throat She was pronounced dead at the scene. The Marion County coroner has now identified the mother who was killed in that shooting while her infant was home with her. 26-year-old Amber Cooley died in that shooting that took place Saturday morning near 30th and White River Parkway. That's on the near northwest side of our city. Husband Robert Cooley confessed to the murder, telling officers, I did something bad, I need to go to jail, and then later, I took my wife's life. Police found Amber Saturday morning in her home. Police say her face was beaten so severely she was unrecognizable. She was shot in the head and her throat. Officers saw blood on Cooley's hands and clothing. We think that he tried to confront her and she told him something he didn't want to hear. Amber was a kindergarten teacher at Victory Prep. She taught there for a year. She just cared for others deeply. She just had a history of connecting with, with anyone. Cooley was arrested and held without bond in Marion County Jail on a preliminary charge of murder. 
According to a preliminary probable cause affidavit, Cooley admitted to beating, shooting, and cutting his wife during his interview with the officer. Investigators are telling us tonight that they've arrested the baby's 25-year-old father for that shooting, believing the shooting actually started as a domestic disturbance. Police say 25-year-old Robert Cooley admitted to beating, then shooting 26-year-old Amber Cooley. They arrested him outside the couple's home. Police did find a gun inside it. Amber Cooley was again a kindergarten teacher at Victory College Prep. She went by her maiden name, Amber Morgan. Amber's colleagues at Victory College Prep expressed their grief in a statement, praising her as a role model for their youngest and most impressionable students. Amber Morgan's warm smile, nurturing spirit, and caring heart set the best examples. The statement read, Amber's parents are now focused on raising Audrey, ensuring she grows up knowing what kind of mother she had. Amber Morgan's life was a testament to the profound impact of love, dedication, and resilience. As a devoted mother to her newborn daughter, Audrey, and a beloved kindergarten teacher at Victory College Prep, Amber's nurturing spirit touched countless lives. Her tragic and untimely death at the hands of her husband, Robert Cooley, has left a void in the hearts of her family, friends, and community. May Amber Morgan's family and friends find solace in the cherished memories of her loving spirit and unwavering dedication to those she cared for. As they navigate this profound loss, may they be comforted by the outpouring of support from the community and the lasting impact Amber made on so many lives. May her legacy of love, kindness, and resilience provide strength in the days ahead. And may Amber rest in peace, knowing that her life and love will forever be remembered and celebrated. Thanks for watching. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video.